Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, you guys will need to cut me a little slack for this one because you may know if you've watched quite a few of my videos over the past, especially two years, I would say I'm just not a fast fashion person anymore. I was when I was a student, but now I'm all about investing in quality, more sustainably, and ethically made pieces. That said, once in a while, it is still so fun to have a little bit of a Zara binge. They're really hard to replace because they are about 20 times faster than any other brand in getting those runway styles to the rack. And so it's just so fun to go in there and just explore all of these fun, new, different kind of pieces. And if you're gonna have a one specific season, this is you know speaking for myself, where you kind of do go for a big bag of fast fashion stuff, all this was under $200 because it is from the Zara sale. So everything was deeply discounted. So at least it was really cheap, you know, which makes it a little bit more justifiable in my eyes. But, um, I really recommend doing summer because that is the one season that I do see a lot of natural fibers at Zara and I feel like the winter is the opposite. It's a lot more synthetic fibers. Um, they are especially good at linen so I actually have really enjoyed a lot of their linen pieces over the years and something that I think forgives the fast fashion element of it is that some of the linen dresses that I've purchased from them have lasted me I think about three years now and I've worn them every season so at least they're pieces that you're getting and keep around for a long time. I'd say five to 10% of my wardrobe only is more kind of fast fashion brands. And so that's exactly what I approached this sale with. I really looked for pieces that were either going to be natural fibers, so about half of this bag is that, or um, just really quality fibers. So maybe a synthetic blend um, that felt really nice and heavy, like a nice rayon um, worked as well. So. I'm going to be showing you everything I got and trying it on because let's just say that the fitting room during the sale is not for the faint of heart and so maybe you want to go into the store and not try things on and then buy them. They do have a great return policy or you might want to order online. Some of these pieces are still online. If I can find them, I will link them down below. And one that I nabbed the last one of is this. And this is that one piece. I feel like we have these shopping experiences, especially in lower price stores, where this is what propelled me to buy stuff where I may have just browsed in some alternate universe had it not shown up and it, it screams capri to me just look at that print it is a pretty high slit skirt not super high though to the point of being like super revealing but it's a longer skirt with a slit and it's the prettiest creamy lilac color with bright yellow lemons and the way it's kind of sketched makes it look pretty fancy and nice. I also do have a bright yellow t-shirt that it would look nice with or like an olivey green as well. So lots of different options. I just love this. I feel like I'm going to really treasure this one. Only a medium was left so it might need to be taken in just a hint at the waist but 100% worth it in my opinion. Second thing that I fell in love with, I really fell for this really pretty cherry colored dress. You know how not red, all reds are kind of created alike? This red has just a little hint of orange to it. It's a really pretty corally red with white polka dots. It's got a nice little stretchy front um, that makes it kind of comfy, gives it a little bit of texture and a tie waist. Um, and that's always a nice thing to look for in fast fashion pieces because it'll cinch you in at the waist and if the fit is maybe, you know, leaving a little bit to be desired, then it will fix that. But it has a nice zipper on the side that's concealed, another nice detail to look for. And yeah, otherwise it's just a simple longer dress. I feel like this one is the most work appropriate thing I might have gotten. This is a little bit more on the casual side for sure in terms of a haul. Um, but it would look really nice with a crisp, creamy blazer. I think it would be a good sort of day to night office to patio look, you know, to have this dress with a nice structured blazer on top. Next piece, oh my goodness, is this one ever right up my alley? It is black and cream. And it's such a nice thick fabric with really, really thick ties um, to cinch it together. So it's a wrap style dress, but it does have a button. It's actually really nicely finished. 
You know what's funny about Zara? I feel like they're really inconsistent in terms of what line is the best there. In the past, I've actually preferred Traffa Look out of all their lines and felt like that was the best quality. This one is classic Zara, so it would have gone for a higher price point. Let me just see what the material is. The material is 95% cotton with 5% elastic, which gives it just a hint of stretch. But it's really, it's a nice weighty piece. It feels like it would be higher end than it is. This kind of piece is a must have. I mean, it does scream Santorini a little bit, but it could also scream Hawaii or any other beach. It's one of those really floaty white cotton dresses with kind of skimpy ties so that you're kind of forced to wear a strapless bra or maybe just put it on top of a bathing suit. But what I really enjoyed about it was the detail of the lace at the front. It's kind of like eyelet on the side and the traditional lace in the middle with really pretty lace trim up here and they're all different textures. Um, so again, I felt like it was really, really nicely finished. It's definitely more of a generous fit. This is an extra small where most pieces are a small. The skirt was the only medium I got, I believe. For those little lemon ones I showed you in my most recent New Orleans vlog, I guess I like shorts now. Um, but these ones are really quite nice. They're longer, but not like a Bermuda or anything, but they just have a nice flow, a nice little kind of trouser-like flow. I wouldn't wear shorts to the office, it's just not the vibe of my work environment, but maybe if your um, career is a little bit more on the creative side, you could do that, and these would be, I feel like, a pretty good choice for that, because they're not too revealing and they have a nice flow, and they kind of go in at the waist a little bit. It's flattering, kind of slimming, um, and they've got a really nice chunky cork button which is kind of unusual and again a great print with a lot of easy neutrals to pair it with lots of olive green this little dress so cute right i feel like this is so 90s um there's something about cherry print that's a little bit of a throwback but i loved the it's almost like a sorbet pink color it's a pink with a little bit of an orange in it and just almost like a cartoony cherry print with a seam going down the middle that's actually pretty flattering and slimming and just a really easy flowy rayon. I'm not a huge fan of rayon normally but this dress the print was just so cute and the fit so easy comfy flattering that I made an excuse for it. Two more items to go. Last one also a dress. What a surprise but this one just screamed Hawaii to me. I look forward to hopefully wearing it there at some point point. Um, and it's just a really floaty faux silk. Zara doesn't really get into doing real silk um, and so you really just have to weigh the quality of it. Is it nice and thick and substantial? Does it feel like it's going to be sweaty or does it feel like it's going to be a little bit more of a matte um, kind of texture? So I really love the hibiscus on it along with little yellow, I think these are called tiare flowers. Three, two, one. I think these would be plumerias, although in real life plumerias are more white in my experience. But you could sew up the front, which is probably what I will do because there's a little button, or you could just wear a tank top underneath. You have a nice little blousey um, sleeve and a navy background that I feel like is a little bit different. Last item. These are the perfect thing to pick up at Zara. They're actually real leather. They have lots of great faux leather options if you don't get into leather, but I do really like the way leather molds to my foot and um, is just comfortable. So for a leather shoe, they were originally $45 down to $35. And they're a really nice snake print, more of like a brown snake print. It's not too flashy. I like the way it's kind of braided at the front. It kind of goes into that faux mez category, but not too much. It's definitely not a direct dupe. I think they're really a nice casual shoe and a nice alternative to flip-flops. That is it for my big bag of Zara stuff. I hope you found the try-on element of this video helpful. If you liked it, give this video a like and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you found any good things in the Zara sale or any of the other really good sales that are going on right now. I feel like the next really big haul that you guys are going to be seeing is going to be the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So definitely subscribe to see my content on that. It's going to creep up on us faster than we think pretty much mid-July two weeks from now countdown begins I'm excited I'm ready and I'm really really excited to bring you that content even a little bit earlier this year because I'll be shopping it from the US I'll come back for that and I will see you in my next installment bye